heard the expression that one person can make a difference. Can you imagine that one person can actually move mountains of inflexible thinking? Let's go back 2,502 years ago to the year 483. In that year, we had individuals that made a difference. One of them died. His name was Buddha. And we all know that Buddhism came out of that individual, that person who was so thoughtful and thinking into the future. And then of course, we have a man who was retiring at the age of 56. He was in China. His name was Confucius. And many of us think like Confucius. And here it is the year 2019 after the common era. Let's go back again to 483 before the common era to a man named Pericles. I quote him, and I have to tell you that he was 12 years old. What you leave behind is not what is engraved on stone mountains or monuments, but it's woven into the lives of others. What is woven into the lives of others is what's most important. Have we changed? Are we more concerned with seeing our name in neon lights? Going to Broadway and seeing our name on the marquee? Is that what we really want? No. No, we want to make a difference. Now, we all can't be Buddha and we all can't be Confucius. We all can't be Aristotle or Socrates, but we can be individuals that are determined to bring peace to the world. Who can see beyond politics? Who can see farther than the political parties of any country? Who can actually hear the heartbeats of parents? And think about parents as they're holding their children against their breasts and they're hearing their heartbeats but then outside their environment outside their homes into the communities they hear the drum beats of war we need to overpower sound with heartbeats of love and we have to have peace of mind. And it starts with each and every one of us. And listen to me when I tell you, you're not an exception. Everyone thinks somebody else will take care of it. Wrong. If that were the case, no child would ever grow up determined to be great. We all have greatness in our minds and our thoughts and our fantasies for our children. I do, but I also have a, a dream and my heart beats for you too. I don't know necessarily who you are right now, but I know that you're a human being and you have discernment and you understand what you're hearing. Please join with us. We need peace in the world. And we'll have drum beats in our music, but not a war. Thank you for listening.